Yeah, sure. Okay, sure. Go on. Yes. Um, is the fact that the correlation function isn't explicitly normalized to one just because when you're dealing with spins and things in physics, which are negative one and one, there's no need to normalize it? Well, it doesn't matter. The correlation function can uh, can be scaled at any stage. Okay. And uh, But uh, you yeah, talk about two things because uh, correlation function or green function is intermediate, uh, which is, uh, you know, this game is very interesting because they are, uh, the, the ultimate goal is to generate the uh, theoretical prediction, which is consistent with observation. Yes. During that so-called theoretical uh, modeling or process, mm -hmm. they, they, they are obliged to create something interme intermediate to, yes. take it, to, to take into account that uh, stochastic process. It could be monocular, it could be a uh, you know, neuron. Or could be a uh, you know social uh, you know psycho psychology this kind of correlation people react for example and uh, for example if you if you if you standing close to the people who are doing the uh, the how to say uh, rep how to say uh, what kind of the buying uh, uh, oh the, the panic buying panic buying and yeah, there's yeah. a shorter time you saw and the the more response from you right. Yes. So you would, if I didn't see anything like that, I, for example, I didn't see people buy and a uh, lot of things and or I didn't see the empty shelf, I, mm -hmm. I wouldn't, I would very calm, right? However, if I was present there, very close to that particular moment when that uh, uh, people, those people panic buying around me, mm -hmm. I get panic, you see? I get panic, and and it is uh, that's why I think any model uh, in uh, in the agent model to describe this one should be taken into account. Of the, you should have uh, at a certain stage considering whether uh, how to invoke a correlation function. Uh, yeah, I think that's my that's my big question because I think the way that we've been discussing it previously, it seems like um, the correlation function, especially, is used to measure um, correlation between two time slices in the relaxation. Where uh, in... Yes, for that, if you can say relaxation is basically the average stuff. Relaxation is kind of the statistical average you look at as a whole. Yes. But uh, correlation is at a stage that be beyond that, uh, uh, in, uh, uh, the, you know, the macroscopic relaxation. For example, you see the signal decay exponentially mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh, the stage where people invoke or introduce the green fun or correlation function then that is at the stage where people are still trying to use a, a agent model if you know microscopic it's a microscopic yes so yeah. for example if they if they behave if they behave that at a different time scale, uh, scale and their behavior is uh, incorrect is uncorrelated okay Mm. And and by the way, I, I I can confirm you that correlation function in the context of the of the linear response series has nothing to do with the co uh, correlation coefficient. You Relative. you graphically trying to work out you know the aggressive uh, aggression straight line a linear line mm -hmm. to see whether there's a two uh, in the, uh, ran two type of random uh, 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 measurement. Can give you, you know, along the curve. But I put in many cases, we expect the straight line. Of course, there's not what you call the uh, static. What is what? Uh, what kind of the stack? What can, you just say random dot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scatter scatter yeah. Scattering, yeah. <laughs> scattering. Yeah. Oh, by the way, scattering is a very key in the context of the introducing the correlation time. Because mm. basically, uh, remember when we say anything stochastic theory, we are dealing with a random process. Yes. The random process is such that we have no uh, determin deterministic idea what's going on, unless we have formed some kind of empirical description mm. of that process, uh, knowing that the correlation would be the uh, the time distance between the two events, because. In the formula, when, the, when you see the correlation, we can probably go to the, mm. uh, uh, the uh, let's just yeah, go that's, I think that's, that's what I, that's, I think that's what I'm, I'm confused about is because intuitively to me, 
you have a system made up of a bunch of microscopic things. Yes. Um, or you can call agent, agent right? Yes, well, agent. Let's say, let's agent, say agent. agent. Yes. Yeah. Let's say agents, and it's they're they're moving throughout time. We don't understand. We can't figure out a the Hamiltonian for each agent. So we look at it as a probability density. For instance, we have to look well, at it. As, well, they, they said individually they should obey a certain pattern. For example, in they, for example, if they, how often they go to the shop, right? Mm -hmm. uh, whereas how far the shop they would, would, would we need to do. For example, without the panic of buying background, so probably I own a shop in the nearest uh, supermarket. What's the point? Every yeah. supermarket is the same, right? Yes. But uh, uh, during that influence, and I might ex extend the scope, probably I will go to probably uh, half hour drive or even one hour driving in order to get something essential. No, yes. consistent with that uh, background. Okay, so yes. go on. So basically, uh, these, I, these these whole things are random. The whole things are random. Yeah, sure. The whole, yeah. Okay, so the whole the whole things random. I I suppose what I'm confused about is whether we're interested in how an agent is correlated. Let's, let's just say an agent's panic to continue the the, the analogy. Yeah. How my panic is correlated with your panic at time t as individual particles in the yes. system yeah. or my panic at time t is correlated with my panic at time t plus one well the essential thing is the absolute as i say that formula here can we just go there the absolute is probably good the absolute uh, uh, time uh, absolute time for individual uh, uh, random event uh, is uh, are, are, are not that important are not essential so if you have the, let's just draw the diagram here. So if you have in the time domain, uh, in the time domain, we have something happening at random, right? Mm -hmm. And at different uh, mm -hmm. uh, possibility, for example, one, one part, one just, we just consider two agents, okay? Mm -hmm. And that is, a, that is the probability you would like to buy, okay? At a particular time. And, uh, and also the decision is purely based on his daily uh, experience or habit, okay? Or, okay. But another guy is another guy is around, and also if this 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 if that uh, two event happen, uh, for example, some people buy on Friday, some people buy you know uh, Wednesday, okay. So these these two times the T one uh, for this time the T or this T plus tau, can you see? So the important thing is the difference imagine? between the tau, yes. So this yep. time this time this time this time frame. Yep. So the this, the important thing is time interval called a tau. Right. So this so this is but this is the same agent. This isn't saying anything about the strength of interaction with oh, other. Oh, this agents. this just two agent. So this agent I, this agent J. Choose you 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 imagine in your system you have the number of agent. Why not just compare agents I and J at the same time? Well, you you. you that's a good idea. If you just look at these uh, events, because they are they were becoming dependent, so the two random became in, uh, uncorrelated. So in this case, it, because this distance, if the distance is too far, can we just give the uh, a, a reference a frame? Uh, for example, can we set up a criteria? This is just like the uh, like uh, in, uh, when we started the uh, uh, spectroscopy, when we started the uh, uh, physics, we, we, we see the two, two, we see the two peak, right? Mm -hmm. So we give the criteria that uh, say that is a, that is a statistical a parameter. So if the two, two event or two spec, two peak is overlapped like this, okay? So I give, that, that would be the criteria where we say that the correlation become noticeable. Mm. Can we just give the minimum, can we call the C? So this is uh, this actually the 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 uh, the is called the coronation time. C is the coronation time. I think I think it's confusing because we're putting densities with t on the x axis. <laughs> you know what I mean? So oh, like, it's, well, it's, you 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 can you can see that happens time dependent. That is another way. So mm. you you for example, it's yeah uh, in the time domain. If you look at thing at the time domain, it is random. For example, this is uh, so this is uh, uh, this is Monday, okay, mm -hmm. and this is Friday, okay. Yep. Does that make sense? You 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 go you probably you if if in my case, for example, I I, I just buy I just try to buy a weekend shopping. I only go on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. It could be Wednesday morning, could be afternoon, depending yeah. on the circumstances. But mm. after all, it's quite different from Saturday, isn't it? Yes. And so, so therefore, my behavior were not influenced by, you know, majority of buyers. Right. So it's almost saying each, each agent is its own sort of like, is basically its own stochastic process. Yes, they, they go shop. Yeah, they go to shop to buy the certain amount, and uh, th th that is a purely uh, it, it's different. So for each individual, uh, it's a random. If you just consider that as a, as a whole, for example, the air, the, the several the city or, or even a country, th that is a is quite random, isn't it? My choice, Wednesday, <laughs> someone was would be on Friday. Okay, it's quite yeah. random. It's quite random. Okay, so we're yeah we're independent stochastic processes each agent is independent i see yeah I so see. therefore our behaviors or by the agent behavior will not influence each other do you agree yes. if if this tau in this case the tau is uh, larger than the coronation time ah i see and i suppose I, what what i still don't understand is why time has to be introduced why why not why not just measure oh the you see the whole thing so don't forget we are dealing with this system can you see yeah with the, the system can is influenced by the external uh, perturbation called ft which is time dependent mm -hmm. in the first place in other words when it ha happened uh, how how the how the peak uh, how long does the, the influence uh, 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 stay is is a is is time dependent? Should I say? Can for example, this could be start at time t, and then and this is just stop, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it, the 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 perturbation itself is time dependent. Do you agree? Yes. So this is called a perturbation, right? Yep. And I'm, the system response. So they have different agent. They have different agent. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, in the absence of this uh, of this perturbation. Everything should obey the certain distribution. Of course, for example, Boltzmann distribution. If you consider the N engine, right? So they have equilibrium, and they have equilibrium distribution, and awesome. that that variable is not time. For example, yep. in the Boltzmann distribution, the, this variable would be the E. Can you see? Yep. So that would be the population. So population is uh, that is uh, should I say they just use a DN over N? That is mm -hmm. uh, N is a total number. So they have N agent. Yep. That's a total number. So these two agents is called I, another called J. All right. Mm -hmm. So yep. they are they are doing their own business, okay, or shopping or living or in a particular suburb. And uh, and uh, uh, so therefore their their pattern of shopping is quite different, mm -hmm. right? And uh, as you know, you can also apply this picture to the the gas because gas model probably is the easiest way to understand. So yep. without a disturbance that. Uh, do you agree that these were uh, obey certain say Boltzmann distribution? Do you agree? Yes. Yes. They lower the energy and the more people, you know, the more they not they need some money. Uh, they wouldn't people wouldn't burn the money, right? They want yes. to be more economical without you know spend a buy right. extra thing or storage, right? You, you got yep. all the consequences. So therefore, that that explains that uh, in the absence, however. In the in the in the presence of this uh, of this uh, disturbance, mm. so what would happen? So the dis distribution might would change slightly. You can see, yep. and some people would take the trouble, spend more money to buy a lot of toilet papers. Mm -hmm. You can't stop them, right? Because mm. they, they think there's such urgent or necessity to do so. Doing mm -hmm. so. Now, the we don't know. We are so after all because it's microscopic stuff. We are unable to pick up individual, just like you know, we're talking about individual buyer. You can, you can probably, you can, as if you can, you can monitor. You don't, mm. because uh, the so-called observation is actually overall. So this is observation. Can you mm. see? All of them is time dependent. Mm -hmm. Eventually, we introduce the uh, chi. We use the susceptibility, which mm. also is time dependent. Mm -hmm. And also, we have expand that they say. This is a, all of these so far is in the time domain. You see, mm -hmm. so this that's why we are talking. This is this in the time domain. That mm -hmm. is why we have to. Everything is time dependent. Does that make sense now? 
I see. And so, so they're, they're, they're uncorrelated when they're in equilibrium. They're, they're the ideal gas, ideal it agent. Could, it could be, I, could it be the uh, a gas or could it be the molecule, that atom, see? Yep. Yeah, as, as a case of the gas, yes. But they're, they're, yeah. uh, they're completely uncorrelated at that point before the perturbation. Well, correlation do, do occur. For those who are, that I just, I, if you just count particular time, these two agents are very close, okay? Mm. And there, that's how we, we're talking about this, this domain. So in this case is if they, uh, this is a, this is two extremes, this first extreme, the second extreme is that the, the time, this difference is uh, equal to or shorter than the correlation time. And what exactly is the correlation time? What does that? Correlation have is such as so, so your your behavior were not were not were influenced by others, or not, <laughs> whether your your behavior were influenced by 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 others or not. I if I, if we didn't see, for example, I buy it, I, I go there on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and most people you know buy on Friday, right? So mm -hmm. those people who buy things in Friday have no influence whatsoever on my behavior. Ah, I see. That's it's the time <laughs> it takes for the for the interaction to kind of wash back to zero. No, for the action you do something. Mm. The you see what is this? The whole thing, the stochastic, is that uh, the everyone, every agent, do something uh, randomly at a different time. Yes. That is that is the picture, and uh, the, and that's why we why do we have use uh, uh, integral because we want to uh, figure out all the influence. So it's still in time domain. Mm -hmm. So we will consider all possibility, or you actually go to infinity rather, mm -hmm. because after all, the after a while, do you agree? Because this this time is short. This this time is very short. Is uh is we we wouldn't just use influence all the time. So because mm -hmm. it's a short duration, therefore the system should be capable of return to its equilibrium. Do you agree? Yes. So this process, if you just monitor, for example, for example, that's how it gives you the explanation. So if you monitor any point, okay, any energy level, you will mm. see that you will see that eventually, in this case, you have used time you have used time dependent. Uh, uh, so in this case, so when you have to, uh, uh, let's just change the color. I think that is the idea is important rather than the some uh, detail of mathematical treatment. Mm -hmm. So if you just find the particular is uh, this distribution, this dot, the red dot, for example, mm -hmm. the, the particular distribution, you will see that if that is a, if this is a, this, if, if this is great equilibrium brain, if this is a, say this is a blue value, mm -hmm. this is a blue, 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 blue value, and this is that uh, temporary, uh, the temporary, a transient, right? So the transient value. Mm -hmm. So you actually you will monitor that uh, the one, and you will see that it will decrease like exponential. You see. Now this process is not this is called the relaxation, which obeys the uh, so this if you if you introduce uh, the T capital T that's mm -hmm. called a relaxation. Mm -hmm. So T is called the relaxation time. Mm -hmm. So in other words, and the system will gradually return to equilibrium. Let me, I'm gonna get my thing so I can draw something. Sorry, give me two seconds. Sure, sure. Yeah. Because I think where I get tripped up is I, I need to be, um, I need to be careful about where I'm talking about a macroscopic variable and where I'm talking about a microscopic variable. Yeah, um, that's right. Can yeah. we just emphasize these two values? One is non-equilibrium. Yep. Equilibrium. Another is equilibrium. So what after the withdrawal of the perturbation, external perturbation, mm -hmm. this system do will return to its original equilibrium. Do you agree? Yes. Of course, this is uh that's that in the in the context that is constraint of the so-called the linear response, all right. Yes, and um Yes, and the when it's when it's not so it gets perturbed. Yeah, it gets excited. Yeah, will relax, and on yeah. route to relaxation. Yes, are you talking? But are you talking about? Yes, be careful. Macroscopic. This is macroscopic. This is macroscopic now. This is macroscopic. Yes. Macro. 
Um, macro, macro, right? Yeah, that's macros different. And and how that distribution changes in time, that that macroscopic distribution changes in time. How is that described? Uh, that is uh, that that is just based on the you know this is a. Uh, uh, because everything will be returned and uh, and say that there is no better way to describe it by exponential function. Right, but that's the that's the mean. The mean will follow an exponential function. But what about the, the yeah, it is mean, it, 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 it is a statistical mean. Yes, not individual anymore. So when we talk about relaxation time, we are talking about the the, the collective behaviors, not the uh, the individual agent. What about when people talk about so-called master equations, where you look at the entire distribution, the for the density evolution? Well, that that density distribution is uh, is a, a system specific. Ah. Uh, for example, in quantum mechanics, you have used wave function. Mm -hmm. In uh, in uh, in uh, in the thermodynamics, probably you have to use uh, Boltzmann distribution or Boltzmann Max Maxwell or Boltzmann distribution when you're dealing with a uh, gas. Mm -hmm. uh, that, 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 of course, uh, the, uh, you see, the, we have involved the two ideas. One is a random uh, process. Another is a probability distribution. Yes. So the reason you didn't see that uh, x axis is a random variable, instead you see time, because we are dealing with uh, microscopic process, where these two events uh, associated with different agents occur simultaneously. Mm. Yes, I see. I see. So, so it, in other words, it's a, you see, the return to the uh, panic buying modeling. And so you can imagine that in the, for the in individual agent, their behavior will be not influenced by other should they didn't see or actually witness or, or this, uh, this, this, this kind of, the, of this phenomenon, if mm. you like to say. For example, if guys just happen to be the, you know, the petrol station or any anything, and they have plenty of toilet paper, he just buy as you you can you see, mm -hmm. one pack. That's all. You agree? Yes. However, if you go to the shop, you should see uh, the empty shelf, and they got probably just a few toilet paper left. What what he would do? He will buy as much as many as an out. Mm. Which is uh, which is unusual. Uh, which is so that is that created that uh, microscopic phenomenon of the of the uh, fluctuation or actually the shortage of the supply, a, a eruption, a, a, a eruption of the of the uh, of the common of a normal uh, supply pattern. And and is the correlation function defined with respect to agents uh, agents I and agents J or at the system level? Well. Perhaps I just write this uh, uh, correlation function is a general form. So we use a G, G for green. So basically, the correlation function is uh, is just uh, is is, is uh, represent this uh, average. When you see this top is, is average, so you have two random function, and and because mm -hmm. the uh, absolute time is uh, the trivial, so we just we can just consider. So you are considered if of course if we just just consider that this also. Uh, in the, we have expanded to the complex number domain. We have used, uh, uh, we have to make sure to use their, uh, 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 how to say, uh, this, uh, this is tau, conjugate, right? Conjugate. So this, this is just general notation. Sometimes people use this notation. So basically you see that the coronation come from the, uh, originated from the uh, random uh, stochastic process where two event happened. Uh, uh, in the time uh, distance of tau. So th this, is, this is a general uh, representing of green function or coronation, whatever yep. is the same, same thing. And yep. also as a, we have discussed that actually uh, the, the green function or correct function also can sometime in a special case is called uh, susceptibility. They are different yep. by say they are different by just uh, uh, factors or scaling factors. Mm -hmm. So and, and I, I tell you what the intuition. You see your intuition. 
the simplest correlation time is just the uh, this one. You were surprised, so they got the uh, probably got amplitude, and that is just that's just as simple as uh, this one. So tau and tau c. What is tau c? Tau c is correlation time. Can you see? So in many cases, you can you can consider its approximation, and uh, to make to to actually to to, to, to actually to in, in order to use a green function to explain the experimental uh, result, the exponential decay as a function of the of the tau. What is the tau? Tau is the difference between the two time. Mm -hmm. Will be the exponential function. Of course, the okay. detail and this is not this this, this by no means the, the the unique right. So this is uh, this is uh, how to say this is uh, easiest, or you you can say this is the simplest form of of any. Uh, this is the simplest form of green function for any random process. And 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 this this uh, h h at time zero and h yeah. conjugate at time tau. So you can, you, you can you can you can consider the profile as a h. So you can see this h this h. Oh, and H -E -H. Yeah, you can see that the tau, this is a, this is a T, because as I say, the T epsilon value is insignificant. This is, could be the T plus the tau. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can and prove that you can, oh, yeah, you can prove that this is trivial, just the mathematical cooperation. And if you're interested, so basically that will, no matter whether you use the T or T plus tau, and their average, their mean, statistical mean will be the same. In other words, it is a matter. It's the time interval matters, not the two absolute times you made it or you 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 described. And and this is this is hedge is one agent, not two. Hedge is uh represent yeah. In this simplified case, yes, we we believe that is uh, the agents are the same. They behave like same. And the owner, you got uh, something yes. So basically, yep. we yeah, you, I think you're right. Uh, in this, if you just simplify as a hedge, then we just uh, make assume that the agents are ident behave ident identical, and uh, they probably we will. But they so in other words, their daily demand or the, their routine demand uh, expenses is 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 almost the same. For example, some family got by got by two package, some family family just by one, but mm -hmm. they that is uh, that that is probably the. They just like a gas. So when we just describe the ideal gas, we just think every uh, atom are, are the same, identical. Mm -hmm. But uh, when when that uh, when that uh, correlation exists, where will depend on how far these two particular events happen simultaneously. Can I can I try and draw out what I think? Yes. What I what I, I think can go to can next. I, I can go to next page. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So as we've, oops, let me get my thing. So as we've been over, we have our system and we have our perturbation. Perturbation F of yeah. T. Yeah. And we have our observable yeah. uh, O of T. And the system has some sort of susceptibility. Yes. Right. Okay. Um, so at equilibrium, before the perturbation, yes. let's just say, uh, let's just say the system obeys the Boltzmann distribution. Okay, yeah, that is a uh, energy distribution. Yeah, if yeah, that's so dog, got yeah. E, e, yeah, and then we've got uh, P of E. Yeah, that's probability. Yes. Yep. And here's our nice distribution. Yeah. Now we apply to this mm -hmm. uh, a kick. Yep, yeah, a kick. Yeah. We kick it. Yeah. F. That's right. Now. Then there will be maybe the distribution will change. There's been an impulse, and maybe it's now looks like Ugh. oh yes, <laughs> that's right, that's right. Right. Mm. So if we take, let's take, let's. So this is macroscopic. Let's yeah. take uh, two particles here, uh, two agents here. We've got right. agent I, mm -hmm. who's been kicked, and agent. Yeah. Uh, J who's been kicked. Yeah. And at uh, at time, what should we call our perturbation time? Let's just call it t plus one. Yeah. So this is this is e at time t plus one. 
Yeah. My question is, they were going along. Now we're in time. Now we're microscopic. Yeah. One, one was going, uh, Agent I was going along and then he got kicked. Yeah. And then the other agent was going along and he also got kicked. Yeah. Hypothetically. Yeah. Oh, in that case, it's certainly overlap, right? So the, the blue the blue and the red one are overlapped, right? Yes. That's right. Exactly. So, so, so are we interested we're interested in the correlation of agent I agent J. J? Yeah, or you can use the hedge, it doesn't matter. Yeah, the important thing at this time, you are talking about uh, can we say T and T, right? In other words, in this case, tau equal to zero almost, right? Uh-huh. Yes, ah. go on. There's some, oh, okay. so, yeah, go on, yeah. So, I mean, this this is, a, a, right, okay. So there's, we've got one one slice here. Mm -hmm. This is T. Yeah. And then, we've, oh, and then we've got another slice here. Yeah. That's right. Which is, let's call it tau. Yeah. And we're actually interested in- Yeah, that's, in, that's T plus tau. So this, this is, a t, if this is a T, if this is a T, tau. this is a T plus tau. And we're uh, interested in yeah. this red at T plus tau and yeah. blue at T. Right. Is that correct? Well, I think uh, if I draw the, the, the slightly, uh, I can just I repeat what you're drawing. So basically mm -hmm. it's time dependent, right? So you have two mm -hmm. agents. They have two, well, I can say two agents. One is a red one. So they buy something like this, like this mm -hmm. particular time. And the blue yep. guy and the blue one, they just buy something also, and this has time. That's what usually happen. So this mm -hmm. is uh, in this case, as I say, this is a special case. There, they are, they are two ran they are two. These two random uh, events are correlated, or processes yes. are correlated for sure. Yep. And uh, yep. this this time, actually, you are talking about the same time, right? So yep. in this in this particular in this particular so tau equal to zero. Yes. Guess what? In, in this case, and in terms of coronation time, the coronation time will be reached the maximum, you can see. Uh, because, because we know that the, uh, if, 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 because this is a tau, you can see, well, do you remember this coronation time or green function, can you see? Mm -hmm. And the green function also obeys a, a Boltzmann, not Boltzmann, but exponential decay, can you see? Mm -hmm. Like this one. So therefore in your example, I can categorize, make this say that because this is a G null, that is mm -hmm. when the tau equal to zero, okay, the maximum. Uh, Does that make sense? Yes. So the, in okay. this case, the behavior of one will influence others. Yes. For example, for example, I, I, I like you, for example, this is the case. So the usually, usually this, uh, this what is a we have a tolerant uh, range. For example, when we say people buy two one pack of toilets, it's okay. Two mm -hmm. is acceptable. But the guy, if you buy five or six, that will influence us. For example, mm -hmm. for for particular guy who first informed by this, you know, this uh, 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 close down and supply the shortage, and he will probably buy that much. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. And that, that behavior will be witnessed by this blue guy. Mm -hmm. So yep. therefore, he will, max, he will max or at least increase his uh, spending, buying, can you see? Yep. Now, if you put the two dots together, you can imagine that as a whole, that the, uh, the, the, the supply chain will be interrupt, uh, interrupted. Yep. You know what I mean? However, yes, however, however, I just make go to another extreme. We just go to that. So this coronated, the coronated. If you mm -hmm. go another side, if the, we just consider, I just repeat what we just discussed. If you just consider, we are discussing the, not the tau equal to zero. However, what this is a tau, we say, this is a, for example, this, this tau is, a, is, a, is larger than the coronation time, you see? Mm -hmm. I think the coronation time. In this case, and uh, you will see that, uh, so we just draw every two things on the same graph. In this case, uh, this will be the, uh, 
uh, this will be the, uh, the time interval is uh, uh, larger than, very larger than correlation time. So in this mm -hmm. case, in this case, uh, tau equal to zero. And uh, in this case, um, you will see that the, uh, the read, read guy, okay, or by a lot of thing, okay? Yep. However, the blue one, the blue guy didn't come at the same time. So he just buy as usual, you see? Mm. So that, yeah. wouldn't, that wouldn't influence, uh, uh, how to say, get, get provided the extra. Mm. So that, that phenomena, uh, uh, is the panic buy just confined to those who are informed by the information. Yes. Can you see the can can you see difference between these two scenarios? Absolutely. One is the, the the highly, highly correlated, and then yeah. the second time it's greater than the almost yeah almost co uncorrelated yes almost uncorrelated yes. and it, this is this is for two agents. Can you generalize this for all agents? Oh yes, that's why yeah they do. That's why you use integration. So basically, this uh, uh, if you go to any info, so you you, you have to. Uh, uh, do the average. So that, that's why this is uh, what we have done here is just a single product. You see, if you just consider individual, right? Mm -hmm. So this is just uh, I and uh, yep. zero uh, multiply and uh, H, J at the tau. Yep. Right? But then mm -hmm. you have to certainly you have because of some, for the simultaneous probability, you have some, you have, uh, you have the either multiply or use, use integration. So you mm -hmm. have to integrate that one. So that one you have integrated the green function mm -hmm. for any tau, okay? For any mm -hmm. tau. By the way, just for the sake of uh, illustration, I, I just use this uh, omega, omega tau d tau here. So that that is how we that by by integration uh, for individual. We only see this uh, this uh, green function or correct correlation function. Can you see? Mm -hmm. but, but the for whole for the for, for the whole system of these uh, elements agents all the agent then you have to consider this uh, there this what is it called the mean so that's why when you see this mean h uh, tau let's rewrite it a little bit crowded here so you will see this h at time no and this is this, this, this just uh, this is just i that's individual can you see so mm -hmm. basically you can uh, I can write down that the H uh, tau, which happened at uh, for the another agent. All right. Mm -hmm. So if that is oh another thing, how to count the event for this one, you have you really so that that actually actually equal to the uh, this you know this sigma notation. Yes, just a pi. Sorry, pi product. 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 Yeah. yeah. For for simultaneous event probability, mm -hmm. right? So that yep. that will be that will I don't want to use that. So that so this actually if you just kind of discrete, that would be mm -hmm. I no no and I J tau and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I I does not equal to J to the n. Mm -hmm. So that would be yeah. the product. Uh, in terms of of course, if you use in continuous uh, variable, you you can replace that uh, pi, a product. Mm -hmm by uh, integration. Does that answer your question? Yeah. That does answer my question. And I have I have a follow-up if I can maybe draw, draw yeah. something. No problem. Uh, yeah. uh, so let's just say this probably isn't the right way to uh, to 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 draw it, but if you'll if you'll allow me, uh, yeah. let's just say uh, we have our we have our system mm -hmm. and it's been kicked. And now we're at, let's just say we're at, uh, we're in the relaxation. And what if parts of the system, uh, let's just say red is correlated and green is uncorrelated. What if, what if certain, certain parts of the system are correlated, yeah. but then certain parts of the system aren't? Yeah. How can you, how, how do you then just take an average? Uh, the time we were, you see, this, if you draw this way, this is special. They have different distribution. The special location is different, right? Yeah. And uh, but we, what we, what what we care is in time domain. You see, mm. it's more it's more. 
in this case, I think time domain is will cover every for every scenario, because yeah. you say in 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 a time domain, no matter where the location is, the for example, this guy, this guy, they could be during the uh, uh, the buying, they could go to another territory to buy. You see, this uh -huh. guy could come to to this territory to buy something. In the yeah. case of shortage, so what what we have draw here is that we got this uh, this is just random two two pair. Can you see? We just choose randomly two pair, okay? By the mm. by the time you you use the integration or actually use the product, by the time you have used this uh, this is I so this is a uh, H H I, and this is H J, so by the time you have do this uh, uh, product I and J right, mm. so that you have to some this is a product uh, I connect J until two. Well, by the time I have to do this average, so that's why you in the textbook you see this notation. Okay, mm -hmm. when you see this notation, then you can so this no, this is tau. Yep. So you actually take everything into account already. Mm. So this is just one of them. Another, another could be this one. Could it be another? Could be this pair? You see. Mm. Every pair will be taken into account because we didn't spec specify what i and j is. In other words, J, I could have come from one to N as long as not yes. equal to J. So that is a mathematical, this is very uh, typical uh, uh, statistical description of the mini body system. So if we can understand uh, randomly choose a pair, mm -hmm. then we can mathematically to uh, include all. Generalize. Yeah, yeah. So I you can you, go on, yeah. I was going to say that I think maybe the reason I'm getting hung up is because if we if we view oops, oh, sorry, wait up. Oh, I had it when I zoom in accidentally. Okay. <laughs> sorry, give me a sec. Uh, there we go. If we view like if if HI is is a is an agent which is a stochastic process, um, HI. Who's oh, the time? And here's, here's T, and let's just. I mean, let's just say they're doing something. <laughs> my my question is, if this is a stochastic process, do you define it? Is is H is H its time average? Is H like uh, do you, like do you describe it by the mean, by the variance, by by some you know density which is changing over time? I, I suppose. What is H? Is H an expected value? Uh, I, I think H you can just uh, simplify as the, uh, how the, 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 the action or how to say the magnitude of the response. For example, uh, for example, uh, if you go to the uh, magnetism, you, we can consider that is uh, for the individual uh, for the individual spin, right? Mm -hmm. how, how, how many spin actually all take this of, by influenced by the perturbation that becomes oriented in different direction. Mm. And in the in the in the in the in, in your modeling of the of the panic buying, that could be that represent how many normally under this influence, and how much they would like to buy. I see, and because just because the system's at equilibrium, it doesn't mean that the agent is at equilibrium. The agent is moving. Well, thermodynamic equilibrium is always involves uh, individual uh, motion. Okay, uh, motion of individual agent, they are still mo move, they are still move. For example, they still have influence uh, to decide the which day they go shopping or which day they buy, how much. I see. But the, so the, 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 the important thing of panic uh, shopping is that we are influenced by others. Mm. We are not independent anymore. We are coronated. Yeah. This whole buying process is influence each other. See, the first buyer, so the first buyer, the first buyer buy when once they buy something beyond on you and that will influence the second one or people around it. So that's that's mm -hmm. why the, for the good modeling of this agent model, you have to consider this detailed and this uh, detailed scenario. Yes. You see why most uh, why most the prediction of the COVID COVID uh, pandemic is failed because their model is over oversimplified. They are all oversimplified. Would you do this numerically, the computer? Doesn't matter. Numerical, because uh, I, that, that's something I like to say. Uh, in, when you do the, uh, when you apply a certain theory, probably we will give you 
uh, uh, the, the generalized. So basically, so uh, generalization of wh what we are talking about today, can we just write the title here? Is actually yep. called if you, you if next in the future you in the literature you will see that uh, the big big names so that's called the green. Yep. It's called the uh, green cube ball mm -hmm. theory. Yep. So basically, we are we are talking about the general method, which has been developed over the past fifty years, that allowed people. Uh, to 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 understand or to describe a complex complex system. Okay, so th th that that is a that is a how we this is a this is the big the big the big idea. It's big idea. Mm -hmm. Now, although although green cuba theory, of course, that uh, 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 Cuba make his name in, in the fifties. Do you re, do you re, yes. remember that paper? Right. That yep. that's uh, since uh, since uh, eight uh, nineteen fifty four. Okay. Yep. And uh, so that theory is uh, is uh, nowadays we use this theory everywhere. Okay. So basically, probably have to take this chance to give you some background. So uh, when 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 Cuba. Uh, apply uh, this uh, introduces not introduce he just saw the opportunity actually someone has done American uh, it's a zero, zero put in the in the enema so basically it's first uh, first application area so this is application started from enema mm -hmm. the magnetic resonance that is a magnetism magnetic resonance So, so that is how the Cuba uh, generalizes this theory to to uh, to describe the phenomena. So people we were un should we needed to understand, for example, uh, in the in the magnetic resonance as I discussed before, uh, we need to describe the the phenomena. So this is a, is a in the frequency domain. Uh, mm -hmm. We saw we we can got at the peak. For example, when we do the when we put the proton, okay. Into the experiment, into enema experiment, we will see the peak show up. You see, we will see peak show up. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the peak is uh, bold, sometimes the peak is sharp. Okay? Sometimes it's sharp. Yep. So how can we explain to this process? Well, we have to take into account our many spin system. So that is how this uh, this uh, linear response theory was first uh, applied in the real world. And so that is a that just remind you in this case, we the the agent if you like in this case is just a, a, a mini a spin, and many spin in the absence of the magnetic field they are randomly oriented. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is this is nuclear spin. So this is a nuclear spin. Mm -hmm. Not just up or down. Not up and down. Mm -hmm. Good question. But during the experiment, we have a polarizing. We have polarized applied the, the magnetic field, but that is not a, but that that is we we, we we're simplify this, uh, this uh, experiment by saying that different spin will behave differently. However, mm -hmm. they will influence each others. They are not uh, they are they, when that absorption occur is is totally stochastic random, mm -hmm. or how they react how to say how do they react and when they will relax individually. Is a random process. So by introduce so in in this context, so by introduce this uh, I write this uh, green function in the intro in this case the green function is again will be determined by this uh, this average. If I use this one, so basically they are determined by this. Uh, uh, this is a typical. Uh, this is a typical the uh, uh, quantum theory quantum average. So you have to this, uh, you have uh, say say H H is a perturbation, the perturbation H, mm -hmm. and uh, that is uh, acting at a particular time, and then mm -hmm. com uh, compare with uh, this uh, this average at a particular time. So I just just this is just simplified notation for that uh, green function, in yep. uh, in the context of NMR that is a cube cube make his uh, first uh, publication. 
Of course, eventually this form that that can be so by introducing the green function. Actually, as I said, that they the in the particular special case, actually they end up with this uh, uh, exponential. See, I just mentioned that. Yep. Actually, it's just this, this is this is the simplest form of the green function we can apply to explain the anima. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we people apply this to other area. Like another is called dielectric, dielectric system. So in the mm -hmm. case in the in dielectric system, which is basically electric. So basically, in this system, and the 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 agent will involve different polar molecule. So molecule have positive and negative size charge. You see. So yep. th in this case, we are dealing with the polar molecule. So some one part is positive, it's a different color. So one part is negative, and other is part negative. You see, mm -hmm. this this is called the polar molecule. Mm -hmm. Polar molecule. So this is a this is a, this this is spin. This nuclear spin, and this is a, a, the polar molecule. Polar molecule. Again. They can derive a certain green function of of particular case, as I, as I say, the green function is mm -hmm. intermediate, which is be introduced or be theoretically constructed to justify our theoretical prediction. Yes, of course. Nowadays, this actually I can go 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 very far. Actually, this uh, uh, eventually they have also started the thermal transfer. They have applied it called a thermal transfer. They just described described how the system uh, in which that uh, uh, certain source, certain thermal source, a uh, perturbated the, the system is perturbated by the source, right? And uh, this could be solid or could be the gas. If they have generated in this case, if you have generated perturbation that can make this part particularly hot. Right, mm -hmm. and there so of course there is a there is a there is a process that eventually this uh, this heat will eventually transfer to the whole area. You see, mm -hmm. so in that case you can also build the proper green function mm -hmm. or correlation function. Yep, and uh, probably another example I just uh, uh, realized that it's uh, I think it's worth noting is that they have the in the standard model. You know the standard model, mm -hmm. and also, or this this part of what we call the quantum field theory. Mm -hmm. Quantum field theory. They also use the green cuba theory. So, in which and the famous one is called green function. Do you know? Do, do you remember that guy's name? The so green function was uh, was the formula for green function was uh, by this uh, Freeman. Uh, Freeman Dyson. Dyson, yeah. That's why I mentioned him, because he didn't got PhD. He's just good at math, and uh, he but he's uh, he made yep. uh, 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 a contribution to the uh, to the uh, to lay the foundation for people to uh, to to work to to find the mathematical uh, they call algorithm or formula. Formalism or algorithm. Formalism is all is more uh, inclined to the uh, analytical mm -hmm. formulation. Algorithm is just uh, you know the calculation, how you to mean? have the how to we use the tricks to do the calculation to solve the equation. So be careful that uh, nowadays there is overemphasis on the algorithm than the formalism. Formalism, yeah. yeah. Uh, Dyson's formula is 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 analytic, analytic. So, uh, uh, in my opinion, it is uh, it is uh, it is uh, it's just a formalism. So mm. that I can I think there's a fry, from Dyson uh, equation or something. You can check. We we can go to further. We can go further. So mm. from here you can see that the whole business, the the, the prime is the, of apply this so called general green cuba theory is actually looking for the green function. Mm. So in other words, 
we 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 for any that you can generate you can actually i'm sure this uh this method has been applied over the past decade five decades to different uh system and uh, so therefore you can argue that the different for the different system the green function will be different yep but as a whole why 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 do they try to figure out the green function given that system we have used this many times right so this is a response, or now we can use a G as well. You can yep. use I use chi or use G. Mm -hmm. And that will give you, this is, this is a complex system. Okay? It's called a complex system. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I think I mean, you, if you look for the research in a complex system, few, few, few researchers actually have gone that far to reach the green function. Mm. Many researchers are just work at the empirical descriptive levels why do you think that is well it's, it's number one it, it's hard to understand mm. you see uh in terms of the green function or free uh freeman dyson's equation in the in the standard model in the quantum field theory this is one of the most abstract theory mm. for physicists so how come this how come people you know from the from <laughs> uh, um, external outside yeah uh, they just say oh, let's go let's, let's go to uh, to complex system, how can they just uh, diso, uh, digest mm. these uh, the methodology of the green cube cubo theory? Yes. There are a few people on the internet. They are talking about these issues, right? Mm. Obviously, they are either the, they have done this uh, subject in physics, but or they actually uh, are, are the theoretical physicists themselves. Yes. So that is why at this stage, if you know this. Uh, uh, green cubo theory, you, you are in a better position because mm. you know ultimately. So what was the the cubo or just the green theory or green function or green cubo theory is actually they are they are trying to solve this issue in the frequency domain. So that is a, that is a key. Mm. Although observation is time dependent, this is this is the the, the, the the I just probably to I give you the summary. Mm. So this yeah. is a time domain. Okay. That to, of course, ultimately you are you you are dealing with uh, equation, right? You mm -hmm. are dealing with, for example, uh, is, you you are dealing with the uh, 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 functions. For example, some function O as a function of time, right? That were determined by some random function, right? I just write as a quant. I I I just write this in the quantum uh, uh, oh. mechanics. Uh, uh, this is just uh, not O, but uh, this just uh, use O, not Q. Sorry. Just uh, make sure. Yes, I think I we need to repeatedly get familiar with this uh, idea behind this uh, uh, linear response theory. So this is a time dependent equation. This is equation of motion. Uh, in quantum theory, this this they are all operators. Mm -hmm. So H is Hamiltonian. Mm -hmm. So basically, that is a simple. That's a fundamental equation for quantum mechanics. Of course, in other system, we don't have perhaps we don't have this uh, analytical form of e of equation yet. That's why it's too early to expect to see green function everywhere. Mm -hmm. However, the, the the key of this is that we we, are, we have to go to the frequency domain in order to invoke this uh, uh, green cube theory. Frequency in the frequency domain, what do we can argue that that eventually the response function in Frankfurt's domain can be simply written as this chi, you see, also in the Frank's Frank's and that multiplies the spectra of the perturbation. Ah, and uh, yeah, in general, so in general, so by, by just generalize this observation as a spectra, mm -hmm. so that is probably the question you need to look at. Eventually we have looking for this, uh, Green function. This is just a Fourier transform. Can you see? Yep. D tau. So from zero to infinity. So basically, the uh, complicated st stochastic process, whether the individual agent can be governed by the e explicitly by an uh, equation of motion or not, we can always argue that the solution will, can be written as this general form. So that 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 is the idea. That is a key idea of the of the of the green cuba theory. 
Is and that's that the Fourier correct? transform of the green function. Yes. Yep. So what is a green function? Well, you have to go to the system. Then you have to study the behavior or interaction of the of agent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as people did 50 years ago in the in the animal, in the, when yep. we start nuclear spin. So yep. they, the spin were apart from, or you can imagine that the spin will be oriented by external field. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, they have also internal interaction. Mm -hmm. So this interaction will allow them to randomly flip flop. Can you see the mm -hmm. spin flop? And that flip flop will affect their nine ways. Can you see? Mm -hmm. If that interaction is very strong, the steam effect is strong, and that uh, that that line will get much broader mm. than this one. Okay, yep. you know, yep. that that can be done by just increase the concentration. Simple, mm -hmm. right? Yep. You are right. You are special distribution. That's why they became more uh, correlated. Yes, and that's why when we when we did experiment, we can simply dilute the spin, so in order to get a sharp peak. Ah. Anyway, that is. Uh, I think this is probably another yes. <laughs> recon of the of the, this basic idea. I, I think I will not emphasize the mathematical aspect. I will emphasize the idea behind yes. this approach, because Absolutely. ultimately, I think uh, who know probably in a couple of years you will see the package that the green uh, based on green cuba theory uh, to deal with complex system. Okay, you can buy. All right, you yes. can just import the different model green function. You got ha ha. You got the result. Yes. Yes. Right. If 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 you were if you were if you were studying if you had to study a complex system, would 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 your would your paper revolve around the green function finding it? We have to. Yes. So that's that's become uh, uh, how to say that's have become the norm that uh, without uh, using the green function or coronation function, you can. But that that is the return to fundamental level. We can continue next time. Mm. Basically, how to how to solve the coupled differential equation and uh, whose behavior the coupling is uh, stochastic. So that, that, that is a big issue for the universe, right? You are not surprising. I mentioned the standard model and the quantum field theory today. These are the, probably the few tool you can find in the human toolbox. Mm. <laughs> okay. Fascinating. I love it. Thank yeah, you very okay. much. I understand. We'll, it more. we'll continue talk next okay. time. Okay. Look forward okay. to it. I'll I'll okay. speak to you next week. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Okay.